master plan to take over the space surrounding the Earth, the Moon, and even extend their presence to Mars. Five, four, three, two, one. Space is the final frontier for human exploration and discovery. For decades, the United States has been the undisputed leader in space activities, launching the first astronauts to the moon, operating the longest-running space station, and operating multiple probes on Venus and Mars. However, in recent years, China has emerged as a formidable challenger to the U.S. space supremacy, achieving remarkable feats such as landing a rover on the far side of the moon, sending an orbiter and a rover to Mars, and launching one of the most advanced satellite constellations. Now, the Chinese government has revealed a new rocket codenamed Moon Rocket, and it is nothing like we've seen before. With this new development, China is well on its way to displacing the U.S. in the race for space exploration. Join us as we take a look at China's new insane Moon Rocket. Space has been a source of both advantage and vulnerability for the U.S. forces. It has enabled them to enhance their military capabilities with advanced space technology, but it has also created a potential risk of being attacked or disrupted by adversaries. For a long time, the U.S. has enjoyed a dominant position in space technology, thanks to its private companies like SpaceX that have outperformed other countries. A report by the Center of Strategic and International Studies, CSIS, highlighted how SpaceX, a private company founded by Elon Musk, has launched more satellites into orbit than China, the U.S.'s main rival in space. SpaceX has achieved this feat by developing the Falcon 9 rocket, which can be partially reused for multiple launches, and the Starlink project, which aims to provide global internet access through a constellation of thousands of satellites. However, China is not far behind in its pursuit of space technology and has made significant progress in recent years. China has launched its own space station, sent probes to the moon and Mars, and tested anti-satellite weapons. China's ambition is to become a leading space power by 2030 and challenge the U.S.'s supremacy in space. Therefore, SpaceX's edge over China may soon be eroded by China's rapid advancement in space technology. Now, China is making progress on a new rocket being developed to launch astronauts to the moon. This rocket is unlike any we've seen before and showcases incredible engineering feats that set it apart from all other rockets globally. In the pursuit of their ambitious goal to land astronauts on the moon before 2030, China has invested its expertise and resources into crafting a launch vehicle that promises to redefine space travel. This new rocket is called the Long March 10, and it's fair to say that it's aptly named. What makes this rocket truly unique is its innovative approach to achieving this goal. Unlike traditional rockets, the Long March 10 will utilize a pair of rockets for a two-step launch process. One rocket will carry a lunar landing stack, while another will transport a cutting-edge crew spacecraft, marking a departure from conventional methods. Following the separate launches, a remarkable orbital rendezvous will take place around the moon. This is really something we've never seen before, and it proves that China has come a long way in space navigation and engineering. Yang Li Wei, a trailblazing figure in China's space program and the nation's first astronaut to orbit Earth, recently shared that the eagerly anticipated new crew spacecraft is on track for completion as early as 2027. Experts suggest that an aircraft like this could be used to surveil, disrupt, and outright attack an opponent's space-based assets, or conversely can retrieve or otherwise interact with friendly ones. A significant milestone in the development of the Long March 10 rocket is its upcoming test flight, projected to take place in 2027. This critical phase will serve as a litmus test for the rocket's performance, reliability, and safety. Experts from the China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, part of the prestigious China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation CASC, have provided insights into this pivotal moment. The new rocket that China is developing for its lunar missions will have an impressive size and power. It will consist of three first-stage cores, each with a diameter of 16 feet 5 meters, that will be attached to a central core. 
The total height of the launch vehicle will be around 290 feet, 90 meters, and its mass at takeoff will be 463,000 pounds, or 210 kilograms. This massive rocket will be able to send 59,500 pounds, or 27 kilograms, of payload into an orbit that will transfer it to the moon. On top of the rocket, there will be a launch escape system that will protect the payload fairing in case of an emergency. Another version of the rocket will have a single first stage core and a shorter height of 220 feet, 67 meters. This variant will be used for launching a low Earth orbit, LEO, version of the new spacecraft that China plans to send to its Tiangong space station. This version will have a lower payload capacity of 31,000 pounds, 14,000 kg, to LEO. This will be the first configuration of the rocket to undergo testing. The main engine of the rocket will use kerosene and liquid oxygen as propellants. It will have a thrust of 130 tons and has been tested successfully six times by CASC, China's main space contractor. The engine has achieved a total test firing time of 3,300 seconds, demonstrating its reliability and performance. China has also built a new test stand at Tongchuan for testing new engines that will power its moon rockets. The test stand is huge and can accommodate engines with up to 500 tons of thrust. It is expected to play a key role in advancing China's space capabilities. This rocket will also be reusable and reduce the cost of launching payloads into space. The spacecraft has a full-size prototype that was tested in 2020 when it flew for 67 hours and returned to Earth safely. The prototype was launched by a Long March 5 rocket, which is China's most powerful launcher. The spacecraft has some innovative features that make it more durable and efficient than China's previous spacecraft. It uses new materials and structures that can resist very high temperatures during re-entry into the atmosphere. The materials can handle up to 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is three to four times higher than the Shenzhou spacecraft that China uses for its manned space missions. The structure of the spacecraft is also lighter, as it has reduced the weight of the heat-resistant layer by more than 30%. Another advantage of the spacecraft is that it can be reused for up to 10 times, according to South China Morning Post. The spacecraft has a return capsule that can be refurbished and reused after each mission, by replacing its coating. This means that the main components of the spacecraft can be recycled and reused, which will lower the launch costs significantly. The chief designer of China's manned space program, Zhou Jianping, said that the spacecraft has a blunt bullet head shape, but with more internal space than previous versions. He also said that the spacecraft has been simplified from three components to two, which makes it safer and more economical. Aside from this, the Eurasian Times has also reported that China has achieved another significant milestone by successfully launching the world's first methane liquid oxygen rocket into orbit on July 12, surpassing the US-based SpaceX in this achievement. The launch was conducted by a private Chinese company, Landspace. During this launch, the rocket effectively placed a test payload into a sun-synchronous orbit SSO, making it a groundbreaking accomplishment as the first rocket to achieve this feat using methane as a propellant. Methane is recognized for its cleaner, safer, and more cost-effective characteristics as a propellant, which enhances China's standing in the realm of space technology. SpaceX's notable Starship spacecraft and Super Heavy rocket, collectively known as Starship, constitute a fully reusable transport system designed for crew and cargo transport to various destinations, including Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship aims to become the most powerful launch vehicle ever developed. However, China's new rocket is poised to outshine the capabilities of the Starship. Since 2020, SpaceX has conducted numerous suborbital test flights of the Starship from its Starbase facility in Texas as part of its mission to establish humanity as a planetary species. These tests have demonstrated a revolutionary approach to controlled flight. The vehicle maneuvers itself in a controlled aerodynamic descent, resembling a skydiver, utilizing independently moving forward and aft flaps on the Starship. It then ignites its engines and transitions to a vertical position for landing. This unique flight technique eliminates the need for traditional wings and a tail plane, offers protection against the extreme heat of re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, and reduces the amount of propellant required for landing. 
Moreover, it opens up possibilities for missions to destinations across the solar system, where conventional runways are unavailable. As the Long March 10 rocket inches closer to its anticipated test flight, the global space community eagerly awaits the outcome. China's dedication to pushing the boundaries of space exploration through innovative technology and strategic planning is poised to reshape our understanding of lunar missions and solidify its position as a leading contender in the race to explore and conquer new frontiers in space. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.